So, last time on Dragon Ball Super GR, Goku, after reviving Raditz for the first time, met his parents, Bardock and Gine, too. On meeting them, he learned of their story and love for him, and then promised to finally revive them. And at the end of the last chapter, he did just that, reviving for the first time his entire biological family. And in today's chapter, that family will now for the first time ever meet Goku's new family in some incredible scenes. But before we begin, support this video and channel by leaving a like right now as you're reading this and watching till the very end for its emotional conclusion. Enjoy. Our story continues following Goku's wish to bring back Raditz along with his parents, Gine and Bardock. Raditz and Bardock look around pleased, observing their surroundings, while Gine is overjoyed and wide-eyed as she takes in the beautiful views of Kami's lookout, noting, Wow! So this is Earth! It's so pretty! So fancy! From afar, Goku waves at them to get their attention. Yo guys! Over here! Told you I'd come through! Welcome to Earth! And immediately on hearing this, Gine runs and grabs her son for a hug shouting, Kakarot you did it! I love you son! While Bardock and Raditz then walk over as well, both smiling at the scene. Bardock then thinks to himself while looking on at Gine finally with her baby boy, <laughs> Kakarot, you done good my boy, I'm proud. Raditz, however, approaches having already done enough introductions with Goku and gets to the point asking, So, Kakarot, what have you got planned for us now? Where do we go from here? <laughs> Goku for a minute just takes a moment to think on what Raditz has just asked, while Gine looks on eagerly from behind, before he places his hand on his head and says, Well, I'm not too sure actually. <laughs> It's getting close to dinner time though, so we should probably eat. But I haven't told Chi Chi yet that we're going to have quite so many guests. <laughs> Gine, however, is momentarily confused and asks Goku, Huh? Chi Chi? Who's that Kakarot? Is my son rich enough to have a personal butler? Goku then replies, Oh, I haven't told you about Chi Chi yet. Yeah, she's not my butler, she's my wife, and mother of my two sons. What?! Immediately, both Bardock and Gine are stood completely shocked at Goku's revelation, with Bardock continuing, k k kakarot I didn't know you had a wife and a family already! Gine's face then slowly turns into a smile as she realises, Oh gosh, this means I have a daughter-in-law. I can't wait to meet her and see what kind of person she is. Before, she then thinks on the fact Goku already has children and says, Oh wait, so that means I'm already a grandma at my age. How lovely. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bardock breaks out laughing, congratulating Goku saying, Ha <laughs> boy, that's my son. When you look just like me, how could you not have a woman by now? Right, son? <laughs> <coughs> Raditz, who by this point is a little jealous and slightly annoyed over all the attention on Goku, then says, All right, enough with this. I'm starving. Let's get going for this dinner you speak of, Kakarot. Now! Goku, who can sense Raditz's childish jealousy, then smiles and places his two fingers on his head, saying, <laughs> Love you too, Raditz. Alright, everyone grab onto me. I'll get us home in a flash. Before Goku then uses his instant transmission, and the whole family of Saiyans arrive at the home of Goku, a little bewildered by their instantaneous trip. Uh, Kakarot? What the hell was that? The group then walk towards Goku's home, while Goku yells, Chi Chi, I'm home! Don't be mad, but I might have brought some guests. While Gine falls behind slightly, as again she is enamoured by the surroundings of Kakarot's beautiful home. Goku walks through the door and continues, Hey Chi Chi, is dinner ready yet? Chi Chi hears and recognises Goku's voice and turns around, but her mood quickly shifts. Huh? 
Goku? Where the hell have you been? You're an hour late for dinner. Goten had to catch the night's fish without you. He's only a little boy. You know I don't like him doing your jobs. But soon enough, she then realizes there are three other figures behind Goku and says, Huh? Goku? Who are these people? I told you to stop bringing random strangers you see back home with you. Gine, however, is overjoyed and runs over to immediately grab Chi Chi's hands, remarking, Wow! So you're the woman who tamed my Kakarot. You're so beautiful! I can completely see why my son would pick you. Chi Chi at this point, though flattered, looks back confused at this stranger holding her hands, who just said something very strange. She responds, Son? And Gine, still so happy to meet the wife of Kakarot, smiles back saying, Yes, I'm his mother. My name is Gine. It's so nice to meet you. Over there is Bardock, Kakarot's father, and over there is Raditz, Kakarot's brother. Chi Chi then looks at Bardock, who walks over with a smirk and comments, Goku's father? Wow, he really does look just like him. No, he might even be a little more handsome than Goku. Before suddenly, Chi Chi hugs Gine back, now happy saying, Well, for as long as I've been married, I've always hoped one day I could see Goku's parents. I thought it would be sooner than this, but I'm glad it's finally happened. I can't wait to get to know my new family. Goku, of course, lets off a sigh, knowing the meeting didn't go as badly as he thought it might. Confusing Bardock, who doesn't quite understand why Goku was scared of Chi Chi. Chi Chi then leads Gine away and says, Here, come this way, Gine. You can help me in the kitchen with dinner. We have so much to talk about. Before the two head off, carefully being watched by a smiling Goku. Meanwhile, Goku looks at Bardock and Raditz and says, Well, that went down better than I thought. We should probably go sit down and eat now. Here, have a seat. And the two nod back at him. Goku, while standing, then addresses the two and says, Great, so this is going to be our first family meal. I can't wait to see what mum and Chi Chi cook up. I wonder what Goten caught. Goten! And after Goku calls for his youngest son, Goten comes down the stairs and immediately encounters Bardock, who looks back at the child, both reacting the same. Huh? <gasps> Immediately both grab onto each other's hair, recognizing this feature is the same on both of them, as they stare into each other's eyes, still in idiotic confusion. They both think to themselves, Wait a minute! Before immediately they both point at each other in shock, shouting, Wait! Who are you? With Goten yelling, Dad? Is that you? And Bardock yelling, Mini Kakarot! Is that you? Raditz watches on at the comedic situation and awkwardly says, Idiots. Clearly this must be Kakarot's second son. Meanwhile, Bardock grabs Goten to pick him up, which initially alarms Goten who says, Dad, what are you doing? And why are you dressed like that? Bardock now holding Goten in the air just like he used to do with Kakarot as a child, smiles and says, Hmm. <laughs> I'm not your dad, kid, but it seems obvious now you're Kakarot's brat. Looks like even half-breeds look just like Saiyans. My name is Bardock, and I'm your grandpa. Immediately, Goten's face lights up in excitement as he says, Wow, really? I never knew I had another grandpa. Awesome! You look just like my dad. Are you as strong as him too? And Bardock, not willing to kill the young child's enthusiasm, replies, huh, I'm even stronger. I taught him everything he knows. <laughs> and Goten responds, Wow, you're kidding. Let's spar, Grandpa. I need to see this. Dad never has time to train with me. Bardock then sits down, ready for his dinner. Obviously underestimating Goten and replies, <laughs> Sure, kid, but first, we eat. Let's go sit down for your mother's meal, and we can go a few rounds after. 
which Goten then enthusiastically replies to, Awesome! I can't wait, Grandpa! Meanwhile, back in the kitchen, Gine and Chichi are talking and finally getting to know one another after all these years apart. And Chichi asks Gine, I feel so bad that it's taken this long for Goku to revive you guys. If I had known, I would have made him do it sooner. It's all so sudden. I wonder what made him finally do it now. Gine then explains away saying, Well, apparently Kakarot forgot about us as a child. He was dropped at some point and lost all his memory of his Saiyan past. It's taken him all these years to be reminded about his brother. So when he first visited Raditz in Hell, that was when Bardock and I met him too. Soon Gine then realizes something and continues, Wait, so if you didn't know about Kakarot's fall, you must have met him later on, right? She then blushes and asks, Tell me, Chi Chi, how exactly did you and my son first meet and fall for each other? I've always loved to hear love stories. Fill me in with everything that happened, my new daughter-in-law. Chi Chi is understandably caught off guard but then eventually begins explaining the entire story of her journey with Goku. From their first meeting as children, their fight at the World Martial Arts Tournament, their wedding day, and of course, the moment they had their first child, Gohan. Gine on hearing this cannot help but tear up, thinking to herself, I can't believe I missed all of these things happening, but I'm so glad Kakarot found love. Chi-Chi seems like a match made in heaven. She then turns to Chi-Chi and says out loud, Oh Chi-Chi, that was such a beautiful story. You two were made for each other. You two have been together so long and had two beautiful sons, just like Bardock and I did. Just one thing I'm wondering is, how was Kakura as a father? Was he a good dad? Chi-Chi then thinks for a moment and replies a little awkwardly, uh, yeah, a good father, definitely for Gohan, for the most part. Just, there was that one time he kind of didn't meet his son Goten for seven years and left me to be pregnant and give birth by myself. But other than that, yeah, great dad. Immediately, Gine's face drops as she realizes how familiar this story is compared to her own experience with Bardock who rarely was home and would often leave her at home for years, battling with his squad. Finally saying, Oh, I see. An absentee father who left his children to his wife. I guess the apple doesn't fall too far from the tree, does it, Bardock? Eventually, after some time, Chi-Chi and Gine finish cooking, and immediately the entire Saiyan clan that has been seated erupts into a monstrous feast. Five hungry Saiyans, stacking plates, while Chi Chi looks on completely bemused, muttering, Uh, help yourselves. Eventually, after a few hours, the whole table is cleared. The meal is over, and all the Saiyans are completely full. Goku comments while looking at his father, Phew, that was a great meal. I'm absolutely stuffed. While Bardock with a smile responds, <laughs> you got that right. You picked a fine woman, Kakarot. She knows how to cook for a Saiyan. I can tell you that much. Chi-Chi hearing this giggles with a blush. Suddenly, the door to the house opens and we see that Gohan has arrived home with a bag and a smile. He shouts out to Chi-Chi, Hey, Mom. I brought the groceries you wanted. Sorry I'm late. Videl needed... Huh? But well, before he can finish his sentence, he notices the three strange new figures at the table, before immediately recognizing the long hair and face of Raditz. Anger erupts across Gohan's face as he remembers the traumatic childhood kidnapping he suffered at Raditz's hands. Trapped in a space pod and forced to watch as his father was completely beaten down, he mutters in anger, You monster! I won't ever forgive you! Before rushing in immediately to attack, screaming, Raditz! Leaving Raditz to look on with surprise, 
and the rest of the family completely shocked but unable to do anything in the extreme speed and instant of Gohan's attack. But before anything can happen, shockingly Bardock intervenes, grabbing Gohan's fist and protecting his son Raditz. He looks into Gohan's eyes and says, Calm it down kid, the dinner table is no place to fight and family shouldn't be fighting. Gohan still enraged then looks back and yells, What? Family? Who the hell are you? Bardock with a calm and unimpressed face replies, <laughs> It's a long story, but I'm Bardock. I'm your grandpa. I can explain later, but from what I can see, you and Raditz have something to talk about first. Take it outside. You wouldn't want to ruin your mother's lovely house, would you kid? On hearing all the commotion, Raditz then quietly gets up from the table, causing Bardock and Gohan to be slightly alarmed. Huh? Raditz, what are you doing? He then walks past Gohan and says, You said take it outside, right father? Well, let's do just that. Alright, come on kid. Feel free to let it all out in the open. Follow me. And with an angry face and his fists clenched, ready to put Raditz to sleep, Gohan follows Raditz carefully, watching his every move, muttering under his breath, Today's the day. The day I make you pay for everything you did to me as a child. While Raditz thinks in his own mind, Today is the day, the day you finally learn the truth. But that was it for today's video guys and if you made it this far leave me a hashtag Gohan in the comments down below and let me know if you want a part 4 ASAP since as you know everything you see is my original work written and created by myself and team and if you want to support me in what I do you can do so on Patreon for less than $3 and instantly gain access to 250 plus fan mongers while you're at it, free forever. But if you want to see more of my signature style of content, click on one of these two videos on the right, right now. Until next video guys, cheers.